What's going on guys? It's Zork bringing you another moto vlog, something I haven't done in a while. We're currently off headed to a place called Missionary Ridge and uh, I tried going there a while ago, um, back a few months ago whenever I first got this motorcycle because I hadn't really snowed that much here yet. So I was going to try to go up it on the bike, but there was snow, but now it's a uh, it's about 80 or 90 out all the snow is melted i went up most of it the other day on uh in my new car which i plan on doing a reveal for that at some point soon as you can see i have another gopro boom right here i also have my session down there which is already tilted off to the right which is uh not very comforting i'll fix that here in a second i'm gonna head to the gas station fill up the fill up the bike i'm gonna fill up my second gas can just in case i doubt i'll be needing it but better safe than sorry I was going to fill up my Camelback um, because even though it's a little bit warm out, I mean it's not too bad as of right now, but again, better safe than sorry. So I'm very underprepared for this. I mean the mountain's right over there somewhere. Um, I have really nothing. I have the, my backpack, I have some camera gear, and that's really about it. Um, I didn't bring too terribly much. That's why I'm going to the gas station. I'm going to get some snacks and water, all that good stuff. I'm kind of, I had this planned, but even though I had it planned, I didn't have anything ready for it. So that's kind of one of the fun things of playing it by ear. Now we're off on our adventure. Oh. Full tank of gas, full backup tank, a lot of water, extra camera batteries. We're good to go. I may be wrong, but I think one, that's the hill we're going up, or the mountain, or whatever you want to call it. And two, I think we're going to get onto dirt here pretty soon. I think right around here, and we'll see it maybe. No. Oh, yep, there it is. Perfect. Uh, let's put this baby in manual mode. Let's drop down a little bit, drop our speed. Okay, and on to dirt we go. Ah. Oh. The African Twin feels like it's at home now. It feels so much better. It gets mad at me when I ride it on concrete for too long. This is the first time I've gone up one minor little thing before on this bike, dirt-wise. I've gone up close to the top before, or at least what I think is the top, um, but not on this. I had to turn around because I had to go to work. So I'm hoping today I'm actually able to go up higher and I feel significantly more comfortable doing this in a motorcycle or on a motorcycle rather than in a car. And what better motorcycle to do it on than an Africa Twin? Ooh. There we go. Ooh. Look at that spot. Look at that view. Oh, it's beautiful. Love Colorado. I went up here last week in a car and it's crazy because I just doing something like this on a motorcycle you take in or at least I personally do you take in so much more of the environment around you than you do while you, than if you're in a car which is just crazy this is the way I went before I got up pretty close to the top Squirrely.
squarely. Getting squarely. Woohoo! Woohoo! Oh, God. Hit the branch. Ah! I don't know why. I'm ha I have a helmet on and I still like winced at that. So I think right up here is where I turned around this past weekend. I think there's, so apparently there's a lake if this is the place, right? Let me see. I think I'm 99% sure this is the place. Yeah. So we got Red Rim Road, Burnt Timber Lake. And those are both two and a half miles up the road. We got Henderson Lake, which is seven miles up that road. I feel like the lake's gonna be a little bit nicer view. So we're gonna save the nicer one for last. It's a photo op time. One of many photo ops during this little endeavor I'm going on. Damn. Let's go. Here we go. Back on the road! Let's go, boy! Woo! Oh, sharp U-turn coming up. Slow down! Maybe not a sharp U-turn, but a U-turn nonetheless. Oh, we got a little bit of rocks. Woo! Road widens out a little bit. Perfect. I, I swear I'm near the top. That's what it seems like. Holy shit! Look at that! Oh my god, that's amazing! Oh, that's so cool! So there was a fire up here a while ago, which is why all these trees are cut the way they are. Why it seems like there was a fire. I don't know how long ago it was, but there was a fire here quite a few years ago. As much as I want to see the lake, this is... This is amazing. Like, this is so cool. Like, it was cool coming up Missionary the first time. You had some views, but like, this is just something else. You're just in the middle of nothing. I don't know how else to explain it. I really don't. This is amazing. Seems like there's a row that goes off, which is tempting. Very tempting. Maybe on the way back. There's another little sign over there. There might be campgrounds up here. I don't know. And another little road right there, too. Look at that. Oh, now it's getting a little bit more treacherous. Not too bad as of yet. But definitely not as smooth as it once was. Look at that. Look, oh my god, look at the lake right there. Oh, that's so fucking cool. Is this just is this just a loop right here to turn it turn us around? No. There is more road. Ah, uh, there is not more road. I mean, there could definitely be more road if I wanted to. But being by myself, I am not going to. So we are going to turn around. We're gonna go where that first loop was. I'm gonna get back there. I'm gonna change the battery. All right, so I'm back. There's the sign. We're gonna head to Henderson Lake. Is that what it is, right? Henderson Lake. I got two extra camera views now. I've been waiting to use them. We got the session down there. Hopefully it stays. Oh, I gotta turn off my traction control and turn on manual mode since I turn the bike off for a second. Seven miles to Henderson Lake, and uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a fun one. It's gonna be great. I'm I'm excited. I got super excited about the views and like as cheesy and as corny as it sounds. I I love like lakes are just beautiful. Like especially when they're up in the mountains. Like in a place like this where I feel like not very many people have seen. You know, not I mean anyone could go here. That's a thing. You know, you could hike. You could rent a Jeep, you know, really anyone could come up here, but not a lot of people do. And it's crazy because I've lived in this area for Lord only knows how long. It's crazy how long I've lived here, but I've never been up this far on this road. And just how scenic and how beautiful it is is it's crazy. I mean, you can go to London and France, Paris, New York, you can go to cities. Anyone can do that. Fewer people are willing to take the steps to get an off-road capable vehicle, to rent it, to take the time to come up here and really experience this and take it in. Like, just the, this view, like looking down in the valley, like it's, it's phenomenal and it's crazy. Being able to enjoy it on a motorcycle, which I love riding, obviously. That's the icing on top of the cake for me. I love scenery. I love views, I love exploration, and just being able to incorporate pretty much everything that I, I enjoy. Motorcycle riding, vlog making, exploration, sightseeing. Being able to incorporate it pretty much all into one is just 
it's amazing. It's an amazing experience. Look at that. Holy shit. Ugh. One of the best parts too about being up here is there's no speed limit. <laughs> so I can go fast. I mean as fast as I feel safe going. this i mean i know what it is but holy shit oh my god this is so cool oh there's a little road over there oh there's i'm not sure if i can go if that's a road or if that's a hiking trail i have no idea where this road goes i'm following it why not it's a point of adventuring and it looks like the road actually closes nope that's just one way i can keep going oh that did not necessarily sound the best, but it kind of sounded like it hit a skid plate. I'm hoping that's what happened at least. Go through the puddle. Yay, puddle. I would say I should turn around, but uh, I can't really turn around right here. That's not really an option. Oh, over there's a car up here. Maybe that's where those hikers came from. I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep going even though I just said I should probably turn around. Hey, look, there's another car, Super Forester. See, I don't have so much of an issue going up the steep, rocky terrain as I do going down. Going down is the, uh, the part that I'm not looking forward to. But, it's gonna happen. Either that, or I'm gonna live up here forever. Um, Honestly, living up here forever it sounds slightly more tempting than going down what I just came up. Got another puddle. Whee! I really feel like this has to make part of a loop. Ah! Oh! Well, my back tire just... There we go. I was going to say, back tire just does not want to get up. I... My only issue with this is I don't know how deep it is. I don't know how sticky that mud is. So that's what would be ahead, which seems doable and also tempting. I'm gonna walk it further. I'm gonna see what else is up here. I could just go around and just take a line up. I'm gonna do it, which <laughs> may be a terrible idea, but so what I'm gonna do. But now the real question is, this, which seems lighter, because the mud's not too bad, getting over the logs. Oh no, the mud right here is pretty bad, actually. So I can only imagine what it's like down there. Okay. I mean, it's not that bad. I might be able to do it. See, my concern isn't getting up there. It's getting through one of these. And see, this would be easier, but this mud also looks a lot worse. Maybe, actually. Like, I feel like this line would be the easiest to take. But then again, how deep is that water right there? I can't tell. If I just went through and up and over. Oh no, it's not It's not deep at all. I mean, the mud's like holding onto this stick. So, I don't know what to do, what to do. I mean, I could just send it. I could just go here. I mean, this line is more straightforward. But that mud also seems really sketchy. I could... This might be the best way too, actually. That mud seems really sticky though. And I just went straight. I've never driven through mud though. I don't know one, how the bike handles it. I don't know what to do myself. So, I mean, let's be honest though, worst comes to worst. 
if I get hurt, if something happens to me, this person will be back at some point. So I really think uh, I'm just gonna try it. Ugh, I'm terrified. I'm genuinely terrified right now. Ugh. This is scary. I'm ter like I am. I'm scared. I'm genuinely scared. Because even though that right there seems super light, who knows? Maybe like the mud's just gonna catch a tire in just a certain way, and I'm gonna fall into the water. Which I don't care about falling in the water. I care about getting the bike up and out of the water. Because as soon as I get up and over it, it'll be fine. I okay. I'm just gonna do it. Here I go. Oh God. Oh, I did it. Okay. It actually wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad at all. Oh God. So much hype up for nothing. Okay. That was terrifying for me. That was genuinely terrifying for me. Okay, and now we're gonna go up. Ugh. Ugh. I should have walked this more because as I get higher up, I feel less confident about my skills for this. Oh, oh, fuck. Okay. Huh. Okay. I regret this now. Huh. Can I put the kickstand down? Without the bike falling over. I can. Whew. This thing out of the way. Oh. I regret my life choices. I really should have just turned around a while ago. <laughs> the water crossing was one thing, as minute as it was. Okay, let's not drop the bike. <sighs> I have a big rock behind me. What we're gonna do, put it in drive, and just get it up and over a little bit. Just gonna try to walk it, okay. Losing footing a little bit. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. Okay. Return around. Whew. Now let's just stop. We're just going to go slowly and carefully. Oh. I think the best way is going to go to left. It seems like it's going to be the easiest path for me to take. And I'm just going to walk the bike and not do anything stupid. stupider than I've already done. Now we're just on rock. Oh, okay, we're good. We are good. Oh. That was genuinely a terrifying experience for me. From the water crossing, the rocks. Okay. Water crossing, round two. Whew. Whew. Oh shit. Oh yeah, no, that's fine. So when you guys last saw me, I was trying to turn around the bike in a very rocky situation. A little bit prior to that, I heard a popping sound and I thought it was a rock hitting the skid plate. Oh, was I wrong? This, this in fact was actually the sound that I heard. My tire, I'm not sure if you can see that, completely just separating from the wheel. You can get my finger in right there. Right, so complete separation. No air in this tire whatsoever. Now hopefully y'all can hear me. I mean, I'm stuck. I'm not stuck. I'm, I'm riding it still. The, the wheel may be destroyed after this, but that's what I need to do. But at least I, I have a beautiful view for sure the rest of the way down. Kind of the situation I'm on now, I'm just riding down with a flat and I'm going as slow as possible. I'll keep you guys updated and hopefully I get down in one piece and get down before the nightfall. Got another update here. I'm actually surprised that this camera still works because for the first time on this trip, I've dropped the bike, which I'm honestly surprised it took me this long considering how bad that tire is. 
You might be able to see my tire tracks right around there coming up. And I dropped the bike right here. Ugh. You can see the tire is getting worse, which it's still set in right here for now. Or at least I think it is. Um, the wheel's getting chewed up. So the wheel, I am like 99% sure that this wheel is going to be destroyed after this. I was very fortunate though, in the sense of when the bike started falling, I kind of pushed it off to my left because there's a little bit of a fall right here. Now I say sort of lucky because in the process, Pushing the bike off to the left, I didn't fall, but you might be able to see one of my shoe prints right here. I did, however, almost go off myself. My foot was right here and it just slid, so I came, I came very close to falling down that little ravine area myself. And the bike actually fell on the side that has the camera on it, so I'm actually very surprised that this camera still works. As you can see, got the uh, crash bars real good right there. Thank, I'm so happy that this bike came with the crash bars on it. I don't think the plastics might be chewed up a little bit. But I'm very happy that this bike came with all of the protection that it did. Because it is definitely doing its job. As without a doubt. That might be a little bit bent. But a little bit bent is better than the engine braking. So I'm going to continue the journey. I've been descending for, I think, about an hour, hour and a half, two hours. I don't know. I've been descending for a little bit now. I still have quite a ways to go. Um, yeah, no one's coming to help. So hopefully, I'm hoping I can get down the mountain before dark. I have I think about, it says sunsets at 8.34, so it seems like I have about three hours before dark, before real dark. I don't see that being an issue. I think I should be able to get down. Let's hope. Let's hope that this is gonna be the only time I drop the bike, and if I drop the bike more, let's hope that I'm as fortunate as I was in this situation where I wasn't seriously hurt, the bike wasn't seriously hurt, and nothing went down one of those. I'll keep you guys updated. So this is just a quick update, consider, I think like two or three weeks after everything happened up on the mountain the last time you saw me in the last footage. So here we have the, we have the Africa Twin. It's back in the garage where it belongs. Um, I'm not sure if I showed you guys, but I blew a fork seal. Um, I think it was this one. Obviously it's not blown anymore. I got it fixed. The tire has been rebeated, reinflated. It's all good now. This handguard now moves significantly more than it should. I also bent this windshield mount, windscreen mount, however you want to say it. Um, I thought I just kind of broke one of the mount or one of the bolts for it, but someone pointed out yesterday that this piece is actually significantly more bent in than this one is. So it might be something I try to hammer out. The mirror is scraped up a little bit, not too bad. The windshield uh, screen is scraped up. Luckily, this crash bar took the brunt of the damage, and it took a good chunk of damage. The fairing got a little bit, not too bad. Also on the spot right here, you can see it took a little bit of damage. But again, nothing too bad. The crash bar definitely took the brunt of that damage, luckily. Also got some down here as well, but most of this was already here. Um, this foot, the brake, the back brake, also got bent some. Um, just this little pedal right here, or a little plate. Um, I was just able to loosen that up and then straighten it out. And then I'm, I'm pretty sure it's right where it was before now. So luckily that's it. There hasn't been anything major that I've discovered wrong with it. I don't think there is. I really, like I said, the crash bar definitely took the brunt of that damage. Luckily, um, I really think if I, <laughs> I don't think if I, I think if I didn't have that on there, uh, I don't think the bike would be rideable right now. Um, that's for sure. So luckily it was all, it was, it was pretty easy, pretty easy stuff uh, to fix. Uh, pretty cheap, I guess, all things considered. That's 
I forgot to point out that one of the turn signals broke off. It still works, but it's just... But like I said, luckily nothing majorly wrong with it. It's just... Uh, a few cosmetic things. Luckily, like I said, whenever I got the bike, came with a bunch of crash protection on it. So really got lucky when it came to that. But uh, moral of the story, and I actually found out something about this. People gave me tips online: is if you have tubeless front and rear tires, or just tubeless tires in general, uh, carry an extra tube with you, or carry a tube with you. That way, you can and an inflator, so you can put it in, pump it up. Got really dark pump it up and hopefully reset the tire if need be and it works on emergency. Those were the tips that people gave me online. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Um, it was a fun and interesting one to make, but until next time, this is Zork and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.